And at that point, we're able to go and map stopes and we're able to basically go to places where humans should never go. Nowadays, obviously, with the laws, they're not able to go and basically bring out the maps in real time for these folks. Uh, but they're, you know, we're not limited to drones, so you could actually integrate it on quadrupeds and things of the sort. But drones are predominantly what is selling in the marketplace right now because, again, drones are still able to go where humans can't go and or shouldn't go. We're able to do things much quicker. We're able to do things much more accurately. Uh, and, again, again, the big thing is safety. And if I could just touch on that, the biggest thing with our safety piece is that we're able to now get people away from one of the most dangerous places. So you talk to most miners at stoke mining, and right at the face is where it's quite dangerous because yeah. that's when you have potential rock falls and fall of ground and things of the sort. So maybe we no longer need to have people there. With our drone, you're able to put people 50 meters behind under fully supported ground under the mesh, and you could run your mission from there. Furthermore, you're able to do it in three, four minutes, mm -hmm. whereas historically this process would take two to three hours, if not four hours, mm -hmm. with two people underground. So we're able to just basically completely take that risk out of it for our miners underground, which is what we want.